Hi guys, and welcome to another week of State of the Market. I am Mark Vittoria, and I am joined by my co-host Jennifer Boudol again this week. And we have a jam-packed episode on the latest findings across our second largest capital city here in Australia, Melbourne. Now, according to the Urban Developers' latest Melbourne housing market insights, it reveals that rents are beginning to skyrocket as available listings get vacuumed up. Melbourne is fast becoming one of Australia's auction market capitals, despite property clearances plateauing over the month of February. The city's property prices have remained unchanged following similar results in December by 0.1% and January of 0.2%. Melbourne's house prices have increased by 12.5% in the past 12 months, with the median price now showing $800,000, following a peak to trough fall in values of 5.6% at the onset of the pandemic. That was between April and September of 2020. According to CoreLogic, property values remained unchanged in February, providing sellers with a gross yield of 2.8%. The average house in Melbourne is now selling for 998000 after undermining the $1 million median in January, only to retreat by an average of $4,000 over the month of February. Mm -hmm. A typical unit in Melbourne is now selling for about $626,000 after a gain of 0.1% or $2,000 over the recent four weeks. A typical Melbourne house is now $193,000 more expensive when compared to 12 months ago, while units have experienced a gain of $87,000. Residential construction costs surged at the fastest rate in 20 years. It has increased by 3.8% in the last September and 7.1% for the year, according to Cordell Construction cost index and Queensland was the biggest increase so far. In addition to Melbourne Build Insights, a major reform of Victoria's planning system will be announced this Friday with the aim of speeding up building approvals. This now means that the new legislation will be put in place to provide faster approval process for major developments, cutting up to six months of planning permit applications, which will definitely make it simpler for Victorians to build new homes and much more quicker. Guys, in other news, the population of Snowy Mountain Town would double under plans filed by Ironside Development Group and Liberty Homes. The concept plans have been lodged with the Snowy Valley Council to increase the population of Talabingo from around 239 people through development of a mixed-use precinct with an estimated cost of $35 million. The plan is to develop 400 lots, included a tourist facility with a spa hotel, medium density precinct and detached dwellings at lot 35 DP 878862, Tarabingo, <laughs> in 5.5 eight hectares of the Snowy Mountains Hydroelectric Authority, now known as the Snowy Hydro Limited. The design by Harwood Architects shows an apartment development, 80 detached dwellings, car parking, and 14,000 square metres of mixed-use precinct. So quite a lot going on there. Yeah, awesome. So it was said that the concept proposal, when implemented, will provide additional residential and tourist accommodation and incrementally address gaps in the future accommodation provision. So guys, uh, this is some exciting news for investors looking, you know, to purchase in Victoria. Um, but as always, if you would like to know more about how we can help you on your investment journey through real estate, please get in touch with Mark or myself directly and we'll directly tailor a strategy for you. So until next week, guys, enjoy your week. See you guys.